Hi, I welcome you all to this video. In this video, we will discuss about duty rota or duty roster. Housekeepers decides who will come in which shift well in advance, and this process of scheduling the duty of the employees is called duty rota or duty roster. Let us understand first why duty rotas are necessary. First thing, to ensure that there are sufficient staff on duty at any given period in order to complete all the tasks. Second point, to ensure that staff work the correct number of hours as stipulated in the contract of employment. Third point, to ensure that days off, that is weekly off, are as regular as possible, giving staff adequate rest periods and ensuring that work out par remains at a constant level. And to plan days off for staff in a fair manner. To aid preparation of attendance payroll reports. Let us see to the next slide. To know who is on the premises in case of fire or any other mishap. Duty rota should be posted up on notice board for all staff to see at least one week in advance in order to arrange their private lives. However, nowadays some hotels prepare duty rota on daily basis. So, in that case, Duty rota can be displayed only in a day or two in advance. During induction, the duty rota should be explained clearly to the new employee. If there is a certain amount of flexibility within the department, it will lead to a smoother running operation. And now we will understand what are the points that housekeeper or any other manager should keep in mind before preparing and completing a duty rota. First one, the coverage hours. That means those working hours when the housekeeping department is operational. So, the manager or the housekeeper must be aware about this timing. Next, he or she should be aware about the number of full-time and part-time staff on the payroll. Whether casual or agency staffs are available. The number of hours worked per day or per week per person and meal, coffee break time or allowances. Break timings can also be there for dinner or the breakfast as per the time of the shift or the duty. Let us continue. Expected productivity rate per employee per day or the working period should also be known to the person who is preparing the duty rota. 
staff request such, such as special days off or holiday periods should be known to the person preparing this duty rota periods of illness must also be taken into consideration and sometimes provisions has to be made for last minute sickness or absence quantity of expected workload per day should also be known to the housekeeper or the manager special operational factors such as deep cleaning or refurbishment projects etc should be also kept in mind whenever the duty rota or duty roster is being prepared now let us understand how to prepare a duty rota or duty roster the points to understand or keep in mind before making duty rota should also be always ascertained so here it says day mates are required to work from 7 am until 4:30 pm including an hour break for briefing tea break lunch break and debriefing second point it says each full time maid works 40 hours per week the hotel has 150 rooms and is fully booked for the week each maid is expected to clean 15 rooms per day question continues there are 14 full time day maids so no part time or casual staffs are available in this particular hotel employee g is having her weekly off on saturday and has requested for casual leave on thursday so that she can take her child or little boy to the clinic the hotel is a downtown hotel that means it is located in the heart of the city now we need to prepare a duty rota for morning shift but the instruction is to call at least one staff in break shift on monday and friday so keeping this question in mind let us see how the duty rota or duty roster will look and how it is to be prepared first on the top column we need to write maid and then monday tuesday wednesday thursday that is the weekdays left hand side we have to write name of the employee so here we are considering their name to be a b c d e f g h in this duty rota since we were asked to call one employee in break shift on monday and friday so i have considered employee f to be called this week on monday and on friday in afternoon in break shift remaining all the employees should come in the morning and leave in the evening for the day shift here i am considering the duty to be from 8 to 4 that is 8 hours per day however it includes the tea break lunch break or dinner break in our case since it is a duty rota to be prepared for morning shift it is lunch tea break briefing briefing debriefing so all those takes nearly 1 hour that is why please revisit the previous to previous slide there it says the staff should report at 7:30 and he or she should be there till 4:30 so that is for the break of half an hour before the duty hours and half an hour after the duty hours so that one hour is taken as break but here it is shown the exact number of hours that the staff works and in the right hand side last column you can see 
we have done the totaling of the number of hours that a person is working in a week and here it comes to around 40 hours as per the instruction in the question here weekly off is mentioned as do that means duty off so since we were told we have to make it for different staffs so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have taken only 8 staffs because we need to call 8 staff in morning shift and here we are writing the time in which the staff should come and since they have to work only for 8 hours in a week sorry 8 hours in a day and additional 1 hour as a break and they need to work total for 40 hours in a week this hotel gives them weekly off for 2 days if they work for 5 days 8 hours each it is equivalent to 40 hours and yes definitely for break we need to consider 1 hour additional again i repeat that is the reason here in duty rota it is written 8 am to 4 pm whereas in the question it is written 7 30 to 4 30 so now what what is done here in the screen you can see on monday you know it is a day when you have moderate occupancy if it is a city hotel or a downtown hotel whereas again on friday you have moderate occupancy in general if it is a city hotel or a downtown hotel guests usually come on monday they all are business class guests they'll be staying in the hotel fully for tuesday wednesday thursday and then starts vacating the hotel or checking out from the hotel on friday and usually saturday sunday number of staffs number of guests staying in this hotel will be very less so that is the reason more number of employees are given weekly off on saturday and sunday whereas you moderate number of staffs can be given weekly off on monday and friday and least number of staffs should be given weekly off on tuesday wednesday and thursday which is also reflected in this particular screen now here the question said one person should be called in break shift so F is called in break shift on Monday and on Friday. Now, let us complete this. So, here again we will write 8 to 4. Similarly, we will go on writing 8 to 4 in all the columns since it takes time. I have already written it earlier. So, and it can also be copy and pasted as i am doing it right now so once if it is made and once if it is written remaining things can, can be copy pasted so as you can see on the screen now we are going to complete this particular duty making duty rota so this is a kind of practical demo that we are seeing on the screen right now and in this way we have completed making our duty rota here again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the person is working for 5 days and 8 hours is the actual productivity of the duty. So 8 into 4 is again 40. That means these two staff, that is staff number G and staff H, both have worked for 40, 40 hours. And whatever we want to mention, Say for example, 8 to 4 is morning shift. So if you want to write here, we can put an asterisk mark and we can mention here that 8 to 4 is morning shift. So in this way, the duty rota is to be prepared. So all of us now have understood how to make the duty rota. Now let us also see what are the main points that we should remember as a gist of whatever we have learned till now. In addition to the duty rota, which are planned well in advance, every day the staffing has to be monitored for all the shifts and throughout the day for 24 hours. Alternate arrangements have to be done for absentees, late comers, and extra jobs, for which a staff placement register 
has to be maintained every day so that all the areas could be covered and extra jobs can be done comfortably so this is the gist of the duty rota now let us quickly prepare one more duty rota so if you get a question or if you are asked to prepare a duty rota for a downtown hotel as already discussed in previous question what you should do you should try to give weekly off to most of the employees say on saturday and sunday moderate staff on monday and friday and less number of staffs should be given weekly off on tuesday wednesday and thursday because the hotel will be almost full so what you should do first we should write the weekly off and here you can also see all together we have 14 staff so what we have done we have decided to call eight staffs in morning shift 50% of eight that is four staffs in the afternoon shift and 25% of morning shift or 50% of the afternoon shift in the night shift so we are having ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3 that means if we are calling three staff in morning shift we will call call two staff in the afternoon shift and one staff in the night shift and since we are considering total number of staffs to be 14 we are calling eight staff in the morning four staff in the afternoon or the evening and two staff in the night shift however all these may change as per the location as per the situation of the hotel wherever you are working or where in whichever organization you are working so what should we do now first first we should try to put weekly off so we'll just go back to the yeah so here you can see this format so this is a kind of format which you should prepare before making the duty rota so what is the format serial number name of the employee monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday then serial number 1 to 14 and name of the employee say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so as you can see either it is for a resort or it is for a downtown hotel the format is one and the same so this one what we are seeing now is the format for preparing a duty rota for a resort whereas this one you can see on the screen now this is the format to prepare duty rota for a downtown hotel so there is no difference in the format now let us see what is the difference while making the duty rota in downtown hotel and the resort in downtown hotel as discussed just now saturday sunday number of employees will be very less so we give weekly off on sunday saturday so let me assume in this hotel we give weekly off only once let us assume in this hotel we give weekly off only once in a week so we first gave weekly off on saturday sunday saturday sunday that is sunday saturday then we'll try to give weekly off say number of staffs are required moderate on monday so monday and then to other staff will give on friday and then we are left with two more staff in this particular week in this particular morning shift so let us give weekly off to one staff on say tuesday and to one staff on say thursday now coming for the, this so this the weekly off gets over for the morning shift now let us go to the afternoon shift so these four people are going to come for afternoon shift so again we'll start with giving weekly off to them on saturday sunday sorry we'll put it here saturday sunday and then we'll try to give it on say friday and monday and sorry again same staff got so we have to give another staff so for night shift now this is what is night shift so night shift we'll try to give weekly off again on saturday to one and sunday to one so in this way what you can see if you see the number of staffs on monday you have two staffs on weekly off on tuesday you have only one staff wednesday no staff is having weekly off thursday 
only one staff is having weekly off friday again two staff whereas saturday and sunday you have four four staffs on weekly off why what is the reason guests are the business class guests so they try occupying the hotel on monday so you need little more staff whereas tuesday wednesday thursday they are staying in the hotel so you need still more staff friday they start vacating so you need moderate staff whereas saturday and sunday they don't stay in the hotel so you have more staffs on weekly off on saturday sunday remaining places all of you have seen and learnt earlier how to place so remain remaining column for all these columns which you have here we will just put m m m m for morning shift or we'll write timing as we have done in this particular slide so you can write either timing like this or after writing weekly off you can feel say it is morning shift so maybe you can say mr mr and same thing can be filled in all the columns whereas in this entire column it is afternoon shift so wherever you have weekly off that is o apart from that you have to fill it with say a a a, a that is afternoon and then this two wherever you have weekly off that is saturday and sunday apart from that every place should be filled with n n n or maybe the timing whatever you have in your hotel whereas once if we have to make duty rota for a resort let us see what is the difference you have seen in previous slide that is this one mostly the staffs has got weekly off on saturday sunday whereas if you are making it for the resort in that case the staffs should not be given weekly off on saturday sunday the reason is most of the guests will come to the resort on friday they will be definitely staying in the resort on saturday and sunday and then they start moving on monday that means you can give weekly off to most of the staff in the resort on tuesday wednesday and thursday so suppose if you have to give weekly off we'll start with tuesday wednesday thursday maybe again i'll start tuesday wednesday thursday then we need moderate staff on monday and say friday sorry it has given to the same employee so it will come here and then for say afternoon shift again you give weekly off on say tuesday wednesday thursday and then one staff you can give it is moderate on monday and friday so you give it on say friday and then again for night shift you give weekly off on tuesday and wednesday so if you are working in a resort you know most of the resort in general will be filled on saturday sunday will be having moderate guests on monday and friday whereas you will have less number of guests on tuesday wednesday and thursday so in that case first you post the weekly off and then you try to post mmm for morning or the time then aaa for the afternoon or say the timing and then here you put nnn or the timing now it is not compulsory that every time when you prepare duty rota same thing may be followed if you have a special event we have to keep that in mind if you have say some functions some marriages again you have to keep that in mind and accordingly you have to prepare so what we need to do here is we need to understand what is the format how to make the duty rota and what are the points to be kept in mind so even if you are housekeeper of a same hotel and you are only preparing duty rota it may not be the same pattern it may not have the same pattern every week because it depends on occupancy and the events that you have in the hotel so let us quickly just go back and just see what we have done we have seen this particular duty rota then we remembered the points that although we have duty rota we must have a placement register and we should staff and the staff should be monitored and then we have seen how to prepare duty rota for a downtown hotel and how to prepare a duty rota for resort and what is the difference so with that we close the topic here
anyone having any doubt can contact me on my mobile number or on my email which is visible to you on the screen right now we will meet shortly in next video till then take care bye bye happy learning to all thank you